I know they did perfect timing. <laughs> Push paper hands. <laughs> I think they couldn't select a spawn point, that's why everyone was on B, and now they have to just uh, do a, gonna do a remake. I don't know. Because if there actually was this threat, like... This is uh, so BM that it's like... I don't even know what to call it. It's like super BM because uh, you just get, put yourself in a really bad spot for no reason. Love the music, but gonna turn it off for the, for the better here. Um, okay, now they actually have some people clicking B here. Looks like it's still um, a B push. I, I, I actually want to cheese and BM. Like, I, I could explain now why it's a bad thing, but like, I'm just gonna let you watch. I don't want to take away the hype of this match. But if they are going to do the first push on B and Argonauts really works properly, then White Blood is going to lose heavily. Like super heavily. Yeah, same hero classes. I'm missing the Prefecture Pikeman that I picked up before in the first loading screen now. Maybe that was the reason uh, that one guy couldn't switch units or whatever. I was not to be push. Okay, two guys uh, pushing the A ram and everyone is going for this uh, super cheesy play on B. Um, it's super cheese, super cheese, super cheese by White Blood. Uh, you could call it like super BM because uh, it's super bad to push B. And there's so many reasons why it's bad that I, I can't even tell them all. And we don't have enough time. Look at how hard they're going to commit onto the wall. They're just uh, climbing a bit. Maybe it's a super fake. Um, and they suddenly all teleport to A, while the defenders have a shorter route to A and they're gonna think they can out-rotate him. But, um, yeah, at the moment, uh, Argonauts reacts properly here, reacts properly. Fireblood should probably airport mission and now go to A. Um, but he's still stuck around. My cam is a bit fast and I'm, uh, apologizing, I'm apologizing. Breach is down, so doing a split push between the gate and breach, and it looks like it's all planned, the rotation is really quick. Um, on the cheese play here, I, I still gonna call it cheese play. So looking, the Zakai Militia is out, Hamir is gonna be ready to just throw him into the choke points. And also to the Kutu guys on A, um, looking they are having a 2v1 on A, you can just barely see it on the side. Do we want to head over? No, we can't. Um, trap is being called here. Trap is decent. Trap is good. Uh, by White Plant. Um, Taran is going in the favor of Argonauts here. They're actually fighting uphill. And it looks like they're gonna demolish White Blood uh, on the gate if everything goes well. It looks like they're winning the breach as well. Most likely, uh, they need help on A, but this should be fine. Supplies getting kept. But yeah, that's fine. Get out of the trap zone. And. Really, really easy defense here for Argonauts. Now they have time to clear the remaining players, uh, get the supply back. A is actually getting kept. As I said, like they do need some help. This guy was like a 2v1. It was actually a 3v1. And now two shots was joining. I think Whiteblood is going to spawn on A. And then it's going to um, get A as well. Because now if they spawn there, then um, Argonauts doesn't have the time to rotate in time. And Argonauts should just take the win here. Um... It's a small win, it's just like 50, 60 units uh, advantage, but uh, they could just take the win and, and move on from there. And and go home point. Or they could even try to like hold it, but it, it's really, really tough. White Blood has a, has a quicker route to A, they're most likely going to get it. And um, Argonauts is just going to lose the units here that they do send to A. Also the Forty can't run away, right? They're just so too slow and it's going to even out the score a little bit. So yeah, um, really questionable push on B. Um, 
lost white blood a good a chunk of units um good reaction afterwards going uh uh to the spawn on a and just uh, getting a3 because argonauts was not seeing it coming even it was like super obvious but yeah we have an even game boys we have an even game it's all fine um looking i'm just always looking at the troops dead right so Kinda even trade for Argonauts now, since they did sacrifice some units on A, that was not really necessary, but they probably were thinking of, uh, maybe we can fight it, maybe not, send some dudes there and then uh, realize that they cannot. Now, yeah, the unit count is like super even. And all this cataphracts pickup is gonna be super juicy as well for White Blood. So White Blood actually could be slightly ahead now um you should never push c from the left side and it's actually smart to defend for uh for argonauts here um if they want to because this choke point is like really 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 retardedly hard to push uh for white blood they're still going for it uh argonauts not in a position though so they should just call it for home but if you're in a position here to fight the offense, then um, yeah, if the offense actually chooses to spare and, and doesn't rotate over, it's a really, really good spot to uh, move over. And we do see some Zakai being used here by, by Helmir. And Labu Karaja as well. So yeah, just uh, burning both sides. Traps are uh, well placed here. Well, look at all these uh, blue units burning there. Like getting an uh, Imperial Pike advance as well. Looking here from their perspective. Using like all the advances. Like these guys are like piss weak now. Like if, if you see like a unit lineup piss weak, it's a P Imperial Pikes without advance. And um, yeah, they're going to get flamed. They're going to get the Kai Militia. And actually Argonauts should uh, get out of the trap zone. And yeah, just to just push these guys off because there's not much coming. It's like 140, the calf doesn't have charge anymore. You can just clean up. But they're actually getting new units all the time. So maybe just uh, get the good trade and, and, and get out. And uh, seeing Argonauts slightly pulling headed again. And they should give C in and, and go for home point defense. Not losing too many heroes at once. You don't want to... Uh, Give up your endpoint uh, setup at any time on Highland Pure. The endpoint defense is just too powerful, to be honest. Um, to mention though, White Blood did really good trebuchets this game. Um, also, rotations to A was really nice. And yeah, you know, a lot of people dying at once now. Uh, White Blood um, clearing those heroes. We do have to worry now for Argonauts that they are quick enough to set up for the endpoint because uh, if white blood is smart then they're just immediately gonna go for the endpoint there's so many people that uh, there's no proper setup and then they can just uh, fight argonauts coming in one by one that's actually what you want that's what uh where you can have the advantage still five six guys that um white blood could be almost everyone could be here aside from like one two guys uh capping c um, they're a bit late, but um, I mean, they're getting here. The thing is, like, now Argonauts is going to respawn, and people actually are spawning directly on the endpoint. So, yeah, it's uh, now the time to call it up and play it slow. Yeah, Argonauts getting into defense position here. A lot of uh, pole arm units. And the, the heavy armor is better, don't mess with the short bow musket uh, flamey comp. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Yeah, short bow picking up the units one by one. Looking at the unit lineup, Sons of Fenrir, boy. If they can come and clutch, then uh, yeah, they could turn the game. Otherwise, the unit lineup of uh, White Blood here is much weaker than what Argonauts has on the board. So, as I said, if they trade evenly, what's kind of the case, I mean, it's super damn close, and uh, in the end, Argonauts is gonna get on top, most likely. So, let's see if I'm right, and we're gonna see a um, really, really close victory for, for Argonauts here. White Blood is gonna do a really, really solid push here. Um, their rotations and communication look to be on point today. I didn't see any a big miscommunication rotations whatsoever. Everything kind of quick. 
not uh, saying anything about the decision making, but like uh, the follow up was always there. And yeah, nice pick here. Nice pick for Wipeout. Maybe this is the call. If the trap hits as well, this would be the time to go because you won't get a better, better shot. And the uh, trap's not really hitting. Um, Argonaut's really defensive here. They should not let Wipeout all the space. Look at all the space that they're getting. They get all the space for free. And yeah, the Imperial Pikes from Argonauts also advancing a bit too early there. Tons of are getting kind of free into the back line. Uh, working out, things working out for White Blood like super well. Let's see if Argonauts still is gonna get on top. It looks really, really rough for them at the moment. It looks really rough. You see, uh, range units all got cleared now and, and now they're dying like flies. Uh, really, really good spot for White Blood. Same amount of heroes alive now. Argonauts just losing three instantly. Oh, this, this could be a white blood game. Like everything in this push turning out perfect. Good coordination there. Argonauts just uh, getting uh, hit everywhere with the with the worst matchup possible. Pulling some Imperial Pikes too early. Um, getting the Sons of Fenrir and stuff on, onto their melee, uh, onto their Tertius and ranged units. Uh, Argonauts just trying to throw themselves into the point, but. Yeah, it, it's just uh, throwing in themselves like one by one. So this is uh, not going to be too successful. But uh, White Blood looks like they're running out of units. They have one Cataphract left. A few Modaos, a few Palace Guards. Palace Guards and Modaos most likely going to die. The Cataphract are actually the um, interesting units here. The Charge is killing some Serfs and nothing too big unless they're getting... Uh, Follow charge after. What are the 40 doing? What are the 40 doing? No, 40 not braced. 40 not braced. And uh, yeah, there you go, man. You don't brace the 40. Good. Fine trap again. But Argonauts is holding strong, man. They're actually holding strong here. Everyone jumping into the point to delay and delay and delay and delay. But... Yeah, like <laughs> running out of units. It's just um farmers coming, man. Like artillery coming. White pikes coming, green pikes coming now as well. White pikes right behind that. Um just everything one by one. So uh yeah, it's it's just, it's just uh too tough. Like if you come in one by one, white blood just uh it's an easy time to clear everyone. Yeah, GG's. Super, super successful fight for White Blood in the end. Um, getting the correct place off on, on every occasion. GG's. Ah, a nice unit cast on Cecilia, by the way. 1.6k uh, troop kill score, 200 plus units. Not too bad. Uh, I want to see the rematch, to be honest. Rematch, please. Oh man, Argonauts was